Prank Calls for You, episode 44, live with your boy Josh Jack. Got two prank requests from the same person. I'm going to try them out right now. I don't know if they're going to pick up. It is kind of early. Prank call. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay. So they both didn't pick up. Maybe they're called back during the show. Which sucks because if they do, then I'll have to call them back. Alright, so this episode is an attempt. I'm calling vegan restaurants. And I'm going to say weird stuff and we'll see how that goes. Charlie was a sinner. That's the name of this um, restaurant. Thank you for calling Charlie was a sinner. This is Alana speaking. How may I assist you? Uh, yes, I just ordered one of your uh, your garden salads. You'd like to order a salad? Oh, no, I just got a uh, salad earlier. It was like, the, you know, the garden one. Garden salad? Um, I don't... Well, uh, what's it called? The the uh the kale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it was uh there was a Big Mac in it. I'm so I'm sorry. What? There was a Big Mac inside of it. Is this a prank phone call? No, it was weird. I moved the kale over, you know, to spin the salad around before I put my dressing on, and it was like a whole Big Mac underneath. Uh, did somebody drop their lunch in there or? I am so sorry. I'm so confused right now. I know. I you... was confused too. I, I I took a picture of it. Um, I could send it. Not send it to you if you want. Is it okay if I just place you on hold? Oh, if you want to, sure. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm so sorry. Can you repeat what you said back to me? Is there a manager listening? No, there's not. Well, I said I ordered one of the kale salads, and underneath there was a Big Mac sandwich. Did you order it to go through us, or did you do it through a um, like a delivery service? No, I was inside earlier. I went around the lunch, the lunch rush around 12:30. We are not open at 12:30. We only we open at four o'clock. Yeah, well, that's what time I was there. At four o'clock. Yes. Like 408. Give me one moment. Hello, how can I help you? This is Pete speaking. Yeah, hi, you're the manager, sir. I am the manager. Yeah, I was just trying to explain to your other associates that I ordered one of the kale salads earlier and there was a Big Mac sandwich underneath. <laughs> now, was anybody, eat, was anybody eating McDonald's there for lunch and just happened to... <laughs> That, every that so happen. often, every so often, we slip a Big Mac in just to see if people were paying attention. You you were paying attention. You're a good man. Well, do I get any sort of prize or any kind of gift card? Sure. Next time you come in, we'll give you we'll give you another Big Mac. All right, I'll be there. Thank you, sir. All right, awesome. Thank you. All right. So they had a good sense of humor about it, which uh, usually most people don't. V Street. Good evening. Thank you for calling B Street. How may I help you? Yes, hi. Do you guys have kale salads there? Um, we don't have an item that's specifically kale salad, but we do have a salad on the menu. Well, yeah, I ordered a salad the other day from the uh the kale menu, and there was a Big Mac sandwich underneath. Huh. Now, was anybody happen to eat their lunch there and just happen to slip a Big Mac in there? Because I don't see how this mistake could have happened. I mean, this is a, a vegan restaurant, I understand. Yeah, you're right. That sounds really bizarre. Um, when was this? Uh, this happened actually yesterday. Yesterday? Huh. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Did you come in to order? Yeah, I actually came inside yesterday around 4.30. 4.30. Okay, and you ordered something to go? Yes. I ordered a salad from the kale menu. I forgot which one it was. I just picked a random one. Hmm. Um, and just to clarify, you it was V Street, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, that is very, very bizarre. Um, I'm not sure what happened. We don't even have that on our menu. 
Um, we actually don't even have a kale salad either, which is why I'm a little confused. But what I can do for you is I can place you on a brief hold, and I can grab management for you, and maybe we can figure out a solution. Yeah, sure. That sounds fine. Okay. Let me place you on a brief hold. All right. Okay. I'm going to hang up now. I'm going to call somebody else. I don't care to speak to the manager. Let's try this one. This is the Nile Cafe. Nile Cafe. Uh, yes, hi. I was in your uh, store, your cafe earlier, around uh, 4.30. And uh, I ordered the tuna kahuna. And there was a Big Mac underneath this. I just took this mm -hmm. home. I didn't realize. I thought this was some sort of uh, uh, vegan salad here. You said... What'd you say? You no, said, somebody put a Big Mac underneath my 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 tuna kahuna salad. Under your tuna kahuna salad? Yes. Sorry, you got the wrong store. Well, we don't sell tuna. The tuna kahuna here. We don't sell tuna. Well, it says it right here, and it says tuna kahuna. I'm looking at a tuna salad right here. That's not our menu, kahuna. sir. That's not our menu. That's somebody else's menu. We are all vegan restaurant. We don't sell no meat, no this. dairy. You actually dropped your sal your your Big Mac in my salad. Now you must face the consequences. He was scared. Hip city veg. I'm trying to where's their menu at? I gotta look at their stupid menu. Here it is. A jerk Caesar salad. Yeah, we'll go with the jerk Caesar. Bigger, I don't... Is there really a big... Thanks for calling City Veg. Yeah, Thanks for calling City Veg. in house. I'm sorry, I ordered a jerk Caesar salad from you guys about an hour ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you I... order... I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, uh, uh, did you order through caviar, or... Yes. Yeah? Um... So, let me see. You said it an hour ago? Yeah, well, no, I'm not I, complaining I, about it. I received it. No. Oh, you did receive it. Oh, yeah, okay, because I, I know we didn't have it a, a little bit ago, so I, I didn't know if it was that kind of situation. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say that uh, underneath the salad, I was scrambling around to put my dressing on, and there was a, a Big Mac sandwich in, underneath it. It was very weird and disturbing. There was a there was a Big Mac sandwich. Yeah, I think somebody must have been it. eating their lunch and they must have dropped it in. Huh. Now that um there's not even a McDonald's around here, so that's that's very disturbing. So the only thing the only explanation I could give was that maybe um was the sandwich did you say the sandwich was eaten? Well, yeah, there was like a few bites out of it. I think someone made their own Big Mac. It didn't look, even look like the traditional Big Mac sandwich. It looked like it was made there, but it looks it looks like a Big Mac. It's got this dressing in it. And, uh... That's that's very strange. Um, yeah, because we don't we don't sell, um, well, we don't we don't sell meat. Yeah. And so, um, and yeah, like I said, we don't have even have a McDonald's around here. So that that is a very strange occurrence. The only explanation I could give you is that something happens um, uh, in in the carrier situation. Um, you know, someone was placing something somewhere, and something had gotten placed into your bag. So first and foremost, um, uh, our apologies because you know uh, we do take pride in our work and to see that somebody else would have would, could have tampered with it in that in that way is disturbing. Uh, most definitely. Um, I can only imagine how you feel. Now, uh, secondly, I can get you in contact with a manager um, to see what, what it is that they do about said things, um, or just to, um, it, it might add a layer of comfort to know that um, uh, a, a manager knows about the situation firsthand coming from you. Would that make you feel better? Or um, no, I mean it's it's not a big it's not a big deal. I, I I just gave the big bag to my friend and he ate it, so it's uh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. But I just that, wanted to that, let you know yeah, it's, uh, that is it strange. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You you said you um it it 
you don't need to talk to a manager? No, it's not that big of a deal. I just want to let you guys okay. know that, that you know next time you guys are eating your lunch, try to you know go in the back or something. You know, go get away from the food. You know. It's yeah no well we're not, we don't even we don't allow that in the restaurant which that which is the the strangest thing um, and I personally have never seen anyone um, come in here with McDonald's or because I, like I said we don't even have one around the corner or, or or within proximity so that that is very strange like I said the only explanation I could give you is that maybe the the carrier was having his lunch and it it got he put it inside because I know they come with giant carrier bags so maybe he was carrying something and it yeah okay no so, problem all right uh, yeah I, well I, 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 I hope you enjoyed your salad at least um yeah i enjoyed it i'm sorry i gotta, I gotta go i gotta i gotta take a shit all right I'll see you all right let's call the front street cafe oh my god my dad would just say front street cafe how can i help you Yes, hi. I, I was I ordered one of your vegan salads earlier. Mm-hmm. And there was a Big Mac sandwich underneath it. I'm sorry I'm sorry, what? Uh there was a, a Big Mac sandwich underneath it. What do you what do you mean? I don't know. It was like a there was a Big Mac underneath it, like the, the, the McDonald's Big Mac. It was underneath the salad. Like in in the bag? No, underneath the kale Caesar salad, like right underneath it, there was just a Big Mac there. Like in the, in the box. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, uh. Sorry, I'm just I'm a little confused. Like this this there was this so you got the kale Caesar and then in the kale Caesar there was a Big Mac. Yeah, like in the salad, like but underneath it, like I was moving the salad around to put the dressing on, and it just. There was a, a it, it was there. in the box, not yeah. like in just in the back. Okay, um, I guess I'll have a manager come take care of this because I've never heard of this before. I don't know what happened, so I'm just gonna have a manager come speak with you. Okay. Sure. Okay, please hold. All right. Thank you so much for holding. My name is Elizabeth. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. About an hour ago, I ordered one of your kale salads, and there was a Big Mac sandwich underneath it. Like a McDonald's sandwich? Yeah, it was it was weird, but it wasn't wrapped. It was unwrapped. It was just uh, in there. Like I was moving it around to put my dressing on. And uh, okay, did you order this um, through like DoorDash or Caviar, or did you just call it in and picked it up yourself? I picked it up myself. Oh, that's, well, that is very bizarre. Um, I'll have to talk to the kitchen because I mean, obviously something happened on their end. I don't know if maybe they. Somebody was eating something back. I mean, that's the only ex explanation I could possibly think of. But either way, like I'm, I'm very sorry that that happened to you. Um, is this is so strange? What, I'm sorry. What was your name? Oh, uh, my name was uh, Sock. S O K. S O K. And it was just a kale Caesar that you ordered to go. Yes. That is so weird. All right, I'm gonna go talk to the kitchen. Um, in the meantime, I, I don't know. I, you know, I I'm happy to help resolve this in any way that you know works for you. Whether it's um, if you paid my credit card, I could probably refund your card through the system um, by just voiding off the transaction completely, and then it would fall off. Or if you want us to remake the salad and you can come pick up another one, or we just would owe you one the next time you're here, uh, I, I'm happy to do any of these things. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, I, I just gave the Big Mac to my fat friend, and he ate it, and I just ate the salad. I mean, it's not... I just wanted to let you guys know that that happened, you know? Okay. Um, all right. Well, I will, uh, I will definitely let the kitchen know, and thank you for, for alerting us to it. All right, no problem. All right, bye. Bye. All right, so this this idea is getting kale. Get it? Kale? I don't know. All right, let me try that one prank request of the other person. See, I, it's too early. A lot of people are probably in work right now. Renziel? Hello? Yes, hi. Can I speak to Renziel, please? Uh, yes, this is he. Yes, hi. My name is uh, Fukin Higner, and I'm one of the uh, moderators for uh, Meetup.com. I was wondering if you have a minute to please speak about your account. 
Oh, yeah, sure. Yes, hi. I've been getting some complaints for bullying and harassment, and uh, we've been giving it a review, and it is possible your account may be shut down. Of harassment? Yes, there are certain users who have uh, wrote us the email through the help system of meetup.com, and they said you have been um, bullying them, you have been switching the times, and um, also you've been uh, telling users that they don't uh, pay pay for your meals and things. You're going to, uh, you know, you're going to uh, do physical things to them. And here at Meetup.com, we don't allow that type of bullying and harassment. This is just a site for people to get together and meet people, and it is possible your account may be deleted. Do you have? these messages from them? Are they showing you these messages or emails or whatever? Yes, I, I have one. Um, some guy named Jim. Uh, here's one here. He says, hi, please. Um, I'm going to contact you let you know that Renzio Pirelli, uh, Pirelli I, I can't pronounce your last name, I'm sorry, uh, uh, actually uh, is uh, had bullied me at the meetup. I went there my first time. He told me I was too uh, short to join his group, and he sent me home and left me in the rain And while the other group uh, left. And I was deeply hurt by this because I am uh, insecure about my height. Please, uh, can you please talk to him and let him know that this is no way to treat people, Jim. That's just one Um, and I have a that couple more here, but I'm not allowed to read more than one. That doesn't make sense. That's, I've never done anything like that. I've actually run two different groups, and you can speak to uh, members. If you if you have any doubts, you can contact some of the members that have come to my events, and you can check with them. Whoever's doing this is probably one of the other Organizers of another meetup group that's probably jealous of the momentum that my group has. You can contact anyone. I I don't harass people. I don't send them harassing emails and pick on them about their height. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know. I mean, listen, it's not going to be deleted. It's in review. Um, you can. I'm going to send you an email link, and all you have to do is reply to it and just um, state your case, just what you said now. Um, I would say half of the times it doesn't get deleted, half of the times it does. There's a good chance it may not. Uh, but uh, some people are just uh, complained uh, also that it says here that you are uh, Middle Eastern and uh, you are actually uh, doing some sort of uh, uh, terroristic mating call. That's what one person what? said. Yeah, some, you know, some oh users my name God. I can't reveal said that you were doing, um, you were saying, Huala Vakbar, Huala Vakbar. And, uh, we Can just, you, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound normal that I'm not allowed to first communicate with these users to, like, directly deal with their concerns. Calm down, sir. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Just calm down, sir. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know I'm why these me. I don't know why these complaints are uh, going through, but I, I like I said, just respond to the email, just state your case, and uh, and also, um, if I were you, don't say the word bomb anymore. That's you know, great like that's advice. like that's the bomb. Now, that is really good advice, actually. It actually is, because, you know, some people might take it away. You know, everyone's offended by everything, and, you know, people, they, you know, everyone's on edge. Well, my All name right, is... I'll so take your... I'm sorry. sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I said I'll take your advice. Yeah, so my name is uh, Fook and Higner. And uh, I'm going to uh, send you a email link. Just respond to it. Just type in your case, and we'll let you know if in 48 hours our review. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Well, at least I got one of the prank requests. Right, I'm going to try one or two more vegan pranks, and that's it. 
Hello, Vegan Tree. Uh, yes, hi. Um, I just uh, received my order about an hour ago. What kind of order? Um, I, it was a uh, kale salad. House salad? Yes. How special salad? 11. Just mama, I check. No, I, I, I got it already. Uh, yeah, but you're eleven ninety nine plus tax. No, I, I already got it. Oh, you already got it? Yeah, I, the only problem is there was a uh, a cheeseburger at the bottom <laughs> of the salad, a, a Big Mac. Uh, so I put in burger or cheese steak? Somebody put a Big Mac sandwich in my my salad. It's your salad and the cheese steak, right? Yeah, but uh, a Big Mac sandwich. You you make the sandwich. You. I don't want a sandwich. I thought this was a vegan vegetarian place. I can't eat meat. So I'm allergic to meat. We're a vegan store. I know. Why did you put hamburger in there? Do you speak English? Yeah, you said the which one? You said the cheese steak, right? Uh, the sandwich. Sandwich cheese steak is different, you know. No, but I didn't. I ordered just a salad, but the. Cheeseburger was mixed inside the salad. Cheeseburger next inside the salad. It was inside the salad at the bottom, and there was bite marks in there, and it was special sauce. Yeah, special sauce and the cheese rice, right? Cheese no, rice. it was meat. It was hamburger. No meat. We have. We don't have the meat. Hamburger is soy meat. Please, sir. Please. Yeah. Why did? Why did you put hamburger in my salad? I, I can't have meat. I never put a hamburger for your salad. Salad, if you... How special salad? Never. How special salad is the strawberry? I don't know which one. You come in my store. Which one? I came... I was in your store about an hour ago. You on South Street? Yes. Yeah, I was there just an hour ago. You gotta work an hour. Today an I hour never ordered. Today I never order salad. You said today? Yesterday. Oh, yesterday? Yes, sir. Yesterday. You come in my store order or you pick up? I, I pick up. You pick up yesterday? I make, I yesterday never make the house special salad. Oh, why, why you put hamburger in there, sir? Yes, the hamburger, yes. I don't want hamburger in my salad, please. I need another one. No no meat. No, no meat. We don't have a meat. Why you We're toss hamburger is soy meat. Why you toss my salad? You told me you ask salad. I don't know. You tell me. You said what kind of salad, right? You toss my salad. You not tell me all the t whole special salad. Whole special salad, eleven ninety nine. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. The price I'm talking about the hamburger. No meat. No, no. Uh, do you have a receipt? Yeah, I took a picture of it. I have a picture and the receipt. Ah, uh, uh, you give me look at your receipt. Yeah, give me look at your receipt, and uh, I never ordered the. Salah gave you a burger. Never. Well, I, what do I do? I, I, I have a picture. I have the receipt. Do I, okay. bring, do I bring it in? Okay, you come in my store. You give me luck. And do I get a massage if I'm right? I'm sorry? Do, you, do I get a, a massage if I'm correct? Why massage? I don't know. What kind of massage? Uh, just my back. Sorry, you crazy, right? No, I vegan you, you, Why you, massage? You call me a liar. So if I write, you you crazy. you rub you rub me for a while. Rub me while I eat my salad. That guy called back. <laughs> Should I call him back? Where is it? Oh, he's, you know why he called back? He was waiting for that email link. He never got it. All right, that was a decent one. Had her on the phone for about five minutes.
Let me call one more. Thanks for calling Veg. How can I help you? Yes, hi. I ordered a kale salad from you guys earlier today. I'm sorry, you must have the wrong number. We are only open for dinner and do not do to go food. To, or we don't have salad here. Oh, I got the wrong number then. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> Problem. You smart ass. What's this? I already called this place Soy Cafe. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for calling Soy Cafe. Yes, hi. I ordered one of your Caesar salads uh, about an hour ago. Um, I, we don't sell Caesar salads. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, was it... I'm sorry, you might have the wrong number. We're at Soy Cafe? Yeah, okay. Good afternoon, all the way live. Uh, yes, hi. I ordered a, uh, corn salad from you guys about an hour ago. And there Did was you a... order on Uber? What's that? I'm sorry, you said you ordered it an hour ago. No, I, rece I received in? it. I'm just letting you know there was a Big Mac sandwich underneath it. Oh, was something wrong? What was, on, what was wrong with it? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, what was wrong with it was there was a Big Mac sandwich underneath it. Um, when you say Big Mac sandwich, do you mean Big Mac sandwich like McDonald's. Big Mac sandwich? Yeah, like Mc there was a McDonald's Big Mac sandwich underneath the salad when I was when I was turning the cornhole over to put my dressing in. Did you um order from where? Where did you make your order at? What what restaurant? Uh, all the way live cafe. Right, I don't, I don't have Big Macs here. Who, who did, who picked up your um food? Was it an Uber? Um, a Grubhub. Okay, well, I have to call Grubhub because they put your order with something else because I don't even have anything like that here. They must have mixed it up. I'm gonna talk to Grubhub. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh Fukin. Oh, and um, Blanca, would, would, you, would you pull up the Grubhub order from today? The Grubhub order was it today? Are you sure? Yeah, it was about an hour ago. Is there any uh, white people I can speak to? Uh, what are you talking about? No, there's nobody you can speak to. Oh, because, yeah, you said it got mixed up. Even if the order was mixed up, how did the Big Mac get inside of the salad? It was in the salad. She hung up. <laughs> that was a funny line. All right, that's the end of the show. Thanks for tuning in. Either next week or the week after, I'm going to call pet stores, pet shops, and such. If you have a prank request, email them to joshjackcalls at gmail.com. I still have another prank request to do, but I need a New York City number. But anyways, that's it for the show. Thank you. And make sure you write a, a review on iTunes. So I'm going to delete the show off iTunes in another week. If you don't care, I don't care either. See ya.